hi guy welcome uh, to our very first lessons under our project uh, Mass is easy and fun, okay. In short, remember my name is Marcus Ni Olan, and you can call me Nibi. Uh, so, uh, we are going to talk about word problems. Word problems. I know this scare people a lot when they hear word problems, but uh, I can tell you by the end of this lesson, you are going to see that it's the easiest part of math because it's the real life application of the math we do every day. Okay, so you hear people making fun of math, saying that a teacher says find x, find y, angle this and that, and all of that. Please, this is our real life, you know, usage of what we learn. So let's pay very good attention to this. So all we are going to do is we are going to go through uh, the kind of words that are said in English that when you can interpret in math, you are fine. We'll be taking you through all these words, uh, most of them, or the like of those words that when you see them, you know what they mean. And believe me, there are only few symbols in math that you look out for, okay? Operations and symbols, uh, like the plus sign, the minus sign, the division sign, and the multiplication sign. These are four of them. And also, uh, the squares, the square roots, and... Um, uh, the equal to sign, uh, the, you know, these are the things, they are just few. So all you need to know is to know the English way of presenting these kind of things. And when you get to know them, you are fine. I'm going to promise you that if you follow this class from the beginning, lucky enough, it's going to be a video. So you can just pause, you can go back, you can go forward and just listen over and over and just do what you are asked to do. Okay, in this type of instructions, all you need to do is to do what you are asked to do. Uh, when it comes to word problems, uh, normally those very sharks, the students who are so good in class, they are the people who get them. And with those who are a bit reserved, we suffer through that, but that is not supposed to be the case. It's because those people will think about what they are writing. We are going to learn the way we are not going to think okay with word problem you don't need to think at all please let's get it well you are not going to think you are not supposed to think all you need to do is to what just follow the simple examples that we'll be doing okay and you will know that you won't think you just need to understand what is happening you just need to identify words and what they mean in math and we're going to take you through so that you are very conversant with them okay so i repeat it is not time to think okay uh coffee is twice as old as ama then you start thinking uh, when coffee is this and ama is that it is not your job to think especially in this i mean bad times so you start thinking you get stressed up okay and the virus gets you your system wouldn't be ready to fight it please it's not time to think so i want you to follow this um lesson with very keen interest put everything off follow when you understand you love what you do and remember i'm just going to give you a few examples after i'm mean, taking you through the classes all you need to do is look for more examples you can go online you can use your math books and you can look for more other examples to solve or questions to solve and just follow those steps i know you enjoy this thing as we move on so we'll move on to um our first thing on that okay so let's look at the table here okay um we have a table with two columns where on the left column we have um english and they are the words that are in english that you find them in your web problems okay then on the right uh, we're going to translate some of these words okay into the mathematical symbol or operation that needs to be used during our working it makes life very easy so please pay attention uh, be focused on this you understand and you will like it so well so our first rule in this table provides the list of some words and phrases that we need to pay attention to so as we can see we have words like some add more 
greater than higher increase plus and any other word that suggests an increase in quantity so it's not only these words or phrases so as you read as you read the word problem you watch out for words that mean the same as these words or phrases that mean the same as this word or words or phrases that mean an increase in quantity it's so easy to identify them if you pay attention to them and anytime you see them stop thinking okay just uh, write down your plus sign okay so we'll be working so you know how this is done once again you see words like some add more greater than higher increase plus and any other word that suggests an increase in quantity all you need to do is write a plus sign down stop thinking it's not good to think when you can get it straightforward you understand this basic english and i believe that okay our second group of words okay in our second row here we have difference less discount fewer decreased reduced minus and any other word that suggests a decrease in quantity you just need to write down your minus sign once again as you read a problem a math that is written in english you need to translate it into math and these are the basic things you need to know uh, so any word uh, like difference less discount fewer even few decreased reduced minus subtracted from you name them okay all you need to do is to put your minus sign down do not waste time thinking it's not worth those thinking no not at all okay you save yourself a lot of time and energy to do more work than you stop and start thinking now in our third row we have words like product times of twice thrice and any other way that go in that line okay any other way that goes in that line will mean what a multiplication okay don't think just write your multiplication sign down okay so please we are going to work this without thinking we are going to do this without thinking all we are going to do is interpret simple english words and phrases into simple mathematical symbols or operations okay our next set of words will be quotient divide pair each fifths fourths and all other words that move in that direction lucky enough these ones are not so much so you'll be fine and as you work you'll be identifying them uh, with time the more you work the more you get them please stop uh, at uh, looking for the words and what they mean rather than you go about thinking okay and so when you see this group of words all you need to do is well, write your division sign okay uh, that is all you need to do you don't need to do anything all you need to do is to write your division sign it's very important thank you so now we go to our next group of words in this row is as a result of was will will be resulting where have pair okay so this words and uh, most of it you see that there are most of these helping verbs okay so go back to your english and learn some of the helping verbs when you see them and other words that uh, sound like something belongs to somebody someone has something uh, you know it should be something that can be equated to something okay so your age is something you are equating your age to you that's an example anytime you see this group of words or any other word that 
is in line with them all you need to do is your put is to put down your equal to sign all you need to do is to put down your equal to sign do not start thinking okay and i keep repeating this because it's very important we do too much thinking and we get so much confused as we do that and we don't want to do that that's why we are doing this and our last group of words for our, our table here uh what how many how much a number and any other word that suggests an unknown quantity okay so the moment you start reading and you find a word a word or a group of words that means that there is a missing number there must be a missing number like what is what means that there is a number there okay how much is there is a number there you know the moment you see such words or group of words or phrases all you need to do is to what uh, to put down a variable meaning that put down a letter to represent the missing okay and normally I, look, I like using y a lot but you can use any other letter that you feel comfortable using okay so y n x and all of that but be careful when using x because x is also the multiplication sign so it becomes so difficult if i mean you 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 don't get it well okay so please just listen to this word all you need to learn about um uh, word problem are the various symbols and operations we have in mass which are very few so you don't have a lot to learn just that the words are plenty just like in english we have synonyms so know the kind of words and so that you can identify them and all you need to do is to put down um, their symbols as they will be translated in math okay so let's see how we can move on to play around with these things we've learned okay okay so this is our first example okay um someone will say why didn't we start on a very low note or a lower note but that is fine and you will enjoy this and uh, for your information most of the questions were not actually made by me i took most of these questions from uh, gmat books like uh, the kaplan manhattan uh, akiola which is a math book uh, from a ghanaian writer and also uh, princeton's so i did not make any of these questions i took them from other sources and some from the internet and so these are real questions that uh, you may find them on so many exams okay so now first of all let's look at this we've been given our main question here this is our main question which says that one fifth of all the cars on a certain auto lot are red and two thirds of all the red cars are convertible what fraction of all the cars are not convertible sorry are not convertible sorry for my handwriting So what it's trying to say is are uh, not convertible okay so um, that is what we are going to work on okay let's okay let's try hands on our first question here and uh, this question may look lengthy but it's very easy okay don't worry about the down part and uh, this is the main question this is the main question which says that one fifth of all the cars on a certain auto lot are red 
and two thirds of all the red cars are convertible. What fraction of all the cars are not convertibles? Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Don't worry, as you can see here, we say. As you can see here, uh, we are breaking this down, okay? And how do we do that? We take um, the 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 problem word, I mean, sorry, sentence by sentence, okay? Make sure you take it sentence by sentence. So please do not chew everything just in one. Uh, bite okay just break it down break it down and you will enjoy every bit of it so what we are doing is we are not just thinking we are not going to start to think that uh, one fifth of all cars are red and if one fifth are red what happens to the red and then you know you don't want to do that all you want to do is take your time take them sentence by sentence so we broke them down into pieces of complete sentences which the first line says what one fifth of all the cars on a certain auto lot are red it sounds like a complete sentence right yes so that is the one we have here one fifth of all the cars on a certain auto lot are red okay we are done with that one and it says again and the two thirds of all the red cars are convertible that is what we've written here as simple as that we write down the english break it down do not rush doing this take it step by step the more you do it this way the more you get the foundation built so strong and when you have your foundation built strongly you can go very fast i'm not saying be doing this forever but as you start like this and you understand you know the basics and the fundamental structure of this things you'll be fine so two-thirds of all the red cars are convertible we've written it down as we saw it in the english we've not changed anything now the final part is what fraction of all the cars are not convertible and that is what we've written here what fraction of all the cars are not convertible okay so that is what we are doing so what we do now is you remember there are some words that uh, we need to look out for okay uh, or group of words that we need to look out for that is exactly what you are going to do forget about the thinking you will see off i know you are thinking of what it is but for now let's just circle those words and ah none of these words uh, or group of words were part of the table or uh, do not share any similarity with the ones we saw in the table okay so we are done with the top one the next one we see still off and r yes lucky enough it's so smooth here and we see another off and r that is the job you see how easy it is yet we'll be thinking so now let's put what we know about them down so off is multiplication we were told and r is equal to helping verbs okay we, we were told about that is ah uh, was so it's the same thing lucky enough they are the same thing so we just write sorry we just write them down so our uh, equal to is here okay then here we still have multiplication for of and equal to for the r uh. okay now we we have done the job we've been asked to do okay so all we are left to do is to just write anything else down we are done okay so when we come to our first sentence in the uh, question given it's one fifth so you put your one fifth down one over five down okay of all the cars now it's talking about one thing all the cars of all the cars so i don't know what you want to represent that with so let's take it that all the cars here you want to represent that with a okay all the cars or let me say a subscript c okay r red so red you can choose r as simple as that okay then our next one is two third you just put your two third down no thinking yet of all the red cars we chose r for red cars so all red cars is r right this is it all this is just what we did this is what we just wrote out for 
so we've not changed anything all red cards because we said are red and we chose r for red so we write r down anytime we see red cards equal to what we've already taken care of this convertible so maybe we choose c for that okay i believe it's getting well okay so now what fraction we were asked for the last sentence we were told that when there is an unknown all we need to do is what choose a variable and i will be choosing y a lot for my variables except uh when it's necessary that we use a different letter but i'll choose y so what fraction of all the cars what did you represent all the cars with a uh, subscript c so all the cars are not convertible so this time around n c done i hope you get it so this is what we are talking about when you are giving do not start thinking it is not worth it all you need to do is what uh, look out for the words or phrases in math all we look out for most of the times except uh, when we do you know elective math and higher math where there will be more symbols but for this basic math equal to plus minus and those basic uh, symbols and operations are the ones we'll be meeting so you are fine for this okay so that is all so it says one over five times all the cars equals to r which is red two over three times red cars equals to a uh, convertible and what that is the y fraction of all the cars which we chose a subscript c equals to nc and that is this so you have three simple uh mass equations that when you are given this on a normal day you will solve it without thinking okay right now we are not doing the working all we are doing right now is to uh, know how to write extract the math out of the english so easily like we did and i believe you've enjoyed this let's try another one okay so we come to our second question here okay and fortunately we are still meeting um, the same kind of words so once again this is the main question in the um, as we see here in a certain class 5 over 12 of all the students are girls and one fourth of all the students are girls who take spanish what fraction of the girls take spanish okay so just break it down into simple sentences like you are working english okay so put them down in simple sentences simple complete sentences so we can see here uh, the first part in a certain class is just a background information so that is not what you need you need five over 12 of all the students are girls so circle the words that you need then you move on so now i think you you understand um what we are talking about here okay so now um we are just going to write them down so 5 over 12 so this is multiplication and this is equal to multiplication equal to multiplication equal to you know take take means it belongs to that's what i'm saying something that belongs to so uh, you, the words are plenty and the phrases so you just pay attention to them that is the only job you have to do so now 5 over 12 of all the students all the students so you just choose a variable for that okay yes for students are ah, girls g for girls okay you can choose any variable you feel comfortable with but you don't want to write the full thing because it will take much of your time if you do that so know the variables you choose for um each item okay so that you'll be writing the same variable throughout otherwise you'll be changing and writing a lot of things that will waste your time and get you confused so we come to the second part one fourth 
of all the students again which is the same thing we have here so it is s that we chose uh girls who take spanish see the difference these are girls that's why we chose uh, the g but girls who take spanish although they are girls they are different kind of girls they are special kind of girl a uh, uh, part of the girl so i will call them spanish girls okay let me write my gene well so spanish girls sg okay now we come to the final part what fraction and what fraction is uh what we don't know uh there's a missing number there a missing fraction so what fraction of the girls we are talking about the whole girls the girls so we use g for the girls take spanish and those who, girls who take spanish are called what spanish girls like we did earlier on that is it and we are done with this so we move on to the next question so this is our next question which says that what uh, we have the question here so once again let's see where the question is and there is a breakdown if Ken's salary were 20 percent higher it would be 20 percent less than Lorena's Lorena's salary is sixty thousand dollars. What is Ken's salary? So this is how we go about this. Now you see that some of them wouldn't be so straightforward. So we'll teach you how sometimes they they write these things and what it means. Okay. So now we identify some of the words. We've taken the first line. It says Ken's salary were twenty percent higher. Okay. Ken salary is what 20 percent higher where so where is a key word that we found here and 20 percent higher so there should be a plus there but this is a, a bit different so let's pay attention and we understand it will be it would be sorry 20 percent less than Lorena's we are done with that and it says that Lorena's salary is sixty thousand dollars okay so now let's see how this works so Ken salary so let's take that we choose K for Ken salary where 20 percent higher okay so the higher is plus just come and write so you see what we are doing we are just writing these things that we know down okay 20 percent higher so the moment um you are told that your money is 20 percent higher it means that it is your money itself plus what 20 percent of your money does that make sense so you see this one wasn't so straightforward but you don't need to think so much okay so normally think of it in real life when you have to think just that small touch okay let's get it again can salary we written and uh, where is equal to was 20 percent higher higher means plus like we said so put your plus down now think of it can salary is 20 percent higher so it means that k that is can salary what you choose for can salary and um it will be plus 20 of 20 percent of that amount okay let's go to the second one now it says it will be it it is what it's still can salary because we are still talking about can salary would be is equal to less than it means that we'll subtract okay so we are putting the words that we know the and the group of words or phrases that we're told about they are the first thing you need to identify this is what you need to worry about and they are simple words in english that everybody can understand okay so this time around 20 percent less so it means that we are subtracting 20 percent less than Lorena's salary so 20 percent less than Lorena's salary so uh, let me get my zero well so l minus 20 over 100 l because we are talking we said can salary that is it can salary will be 
20 percent less don't worry yourself where there is less than put the minus sign there and now know how to put things in place because it means that it's less than learner salary it means it's learner salary minus 20 percent of the same learner salary remember that when you are giving percentage it must be of something okay so when you are told that my age is twice uh, or let's say and that's not even a good example uh, I have 20% more of what I have already it means that you are going to put what I have down and add 20% of what I have to it okay so this one's that is the, the, the few things that you need to be thinking about but not that much it makes it easier than you think and don't put anything down finally it says Lorena's salary we chose L for Lorena's salary is what sixty thousand dollars okay so that is it we have how many uh simple equations here one two three okay and the working is another thing so don't worry about the working right now that is not what we are concerned about right now all we are concerned about is how to extract this get these things written down so easily okay so we move on and as we move on i'll start going a bit faster because you need to now take time on yourself and work on these things okay so we'll solve a couple of them before we end this lesson okay so let's look at this question as well okay so as usual we need to know the question we are solving so that we know how to break it down okay from the beginning keep breaking it down when you keep doing you master it and you don't have to be doing the same thing over and over okay now two runners race time sum to 170 seconds and one race time is 10 seconds less than twice the other what is the faster race time in seconds okay so we've broken it down two runners race time sum to 170 seconds so two runners so we are talking about two people and we are talking about sum so sum is one of the words okay sum two so two now will mean a different thing here sum two okay so these are the main um, symbols and operations that we'll have with this so sum is a plus but because most of the things are here you can write your plus somewhere here don't worry and two is equal to okay so these are the two main things you need but the sum is the plus okay sum means plus like we said so know your words and their translation in math okay so now we've written this now we are coming to write the rest of the things the sum was between two runners uh, race time since we don't know we can say that race time one plus race times two equals to what 170 seconds okay so you see how it is the sum is why we wrote the plus do not start thinking you finish writing the simple things the words that are used the words that we've been told about write them down after writing them down you now see how they work okay so two runners race time sum to forget about the two runners it's sum sum means plus write your plus down two is equal to because they are giving that sum to a certain number okay so that's why that's why we say when it belongs to someone okay sum to 170 seconds but they are saying two runners you don't know there are unknowns so runner one and runner two since you don't know it said two runners they are some i hope it's clear thank you so one race time is 10 seconds less than twice so we we'll also go ahead and do our thing here less than twice the other okay so now we've gotten them is is equal to less than is what minus okay and um let me take a second to talk about when we talk about less than when there is a less than normally the less than comes after uh, the, uh, the, the 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 number it will affect okay so 10 seconds less 10 seconds less 10 seconds less so it will be the 10 seconds that will be here okay not the twice 
do we get that so let's take it again this is just an exception uh, to the rules that we are working with all the time you just write at the positions you see them but when it's less than 10 seconds less than so if you say uh, my age is or oh, um, uh, my age is uh, two years less than somebody's age it means that you subtract that two so the less than goes with the number that comes before the word less than or i mean the the word less so 10 seconds less but it is what twice two times oh sorry let me just get rid of this first so let's get this down yes so twice the other twice the other so two times the other we've not chosen the other before but because we know two times write out two times what we are doing is to write uh, those things that we understand uh in english in mass first then we'll now put things down so now let's take it again is is the equal to uh two times is a twice ten less 10 seconds less that is minus 10 less is minus 10 so 10 seconds less so whatever number or variable that come before the less is uh, affected by the negative sign or the minus sign okay so now let's now fill up everything so he's saying that one race time we chose r1 and r2 you can choose any of them so it says one of the race time any of the two so it can be r1 is equal to what less than twice two times the other race time and the other race time is what r2 okay i hope that is clear this is just how it will get a little bit confusing but the more you work you understand these things okay and it's asking us that what is the faster race time so this one you just write the faster race time if you like the faster time okay so you have two equations here equations one and two you solve them simultaneously and you can know which one is the fastest time so take your time and go through you understand this let's take the next okay this is our next question which we have it here and that says if seven times a number is 84 what is four times the number if seven times a number is 84 what is four times the number please so far as you can break it down into simple sentences do that and work it out so seven times so this time around i did not color them so that you can identify them by yourself okay times is something is is one of the things so times is multiplication and is is what equal to okay so here to we come is but before it says what so what is another thing what means there's a number that we don't know another times here yeah. okay the number the number but it is the same thing here so we don't have a problem yet so it says seven times so write our seven a number so let's take the number to be n okay I'll, it should be smaller letter it's very easy to work with small letters seven times a number that's the n is what 84 okay and then this is what is you know is is equal to four and the times is multiplication the number we chose n as the number because it's still talking about the same number that is it you are done as simple as that let's move on so this is going to be this is going to be the last question for, uh, that i'll be solving with you you are left to be solving more on your own but i'm going to give you a very interesting one that you have to play with okay which i'll give you a few minutes to solve okay so now let's see our next our final question here which says that what okay so let me just let you know what the question is if the product of x and y is 76 and x is twice the square of y write down 
the expression or equations for the information above okay so and uh, now it says the product that is if the product so the product of x and y is 76 so product of okay and is are the words that are very important so product is what multiplication and is is equal to okay right this is the step i mean just take the same steps over and over as you do more you will be fine stop thinking it takes a lot of your time okay so now you know product is between x and y okay the product of x and y so that is why you put the x uh, the multiplication down this is not the x this is the product of that is the multiplication sign we have there okay so since there is x and multiplication i think let's uh, just change the color here so it says that of x and what y so the product of x and y but the product is multiplication put that one down first before you see what numbers or variables it's actually multiplying of x and y is what 76 as simple as that okay then we'll go to the next one which says that x is but o is twice the square of so another word is square i mean um phrase here square of okay so we know this is our equal to is twice is two times something and the square of y so we've written what we have to do so square of y two times the square of y which is written like this and it says x is this okay so first of all we identify this words especially is and twice square of it's even a different thing altogether i just have to circle it because not everybody is aware of that square of a number and we'll be learning i'll we'll be doing this is and you understand when this is square uh, or square root or anything you understand okay so that is it and this is how it's going to be it is that easy so please um you will have your next section that will be your own question you need to take home work on it but please don't only work that look for more questions there are so many exciting questions that come in different forms okay they'll be changing the phrasing they'll be changing the wordings but know the root meanings of these things that they'll be using and you are going to enjoy your word problem more than before okay um so enjoy it and let's see our next question okay so this is your have fun question it's your own question it says that the sum of three numbers a b and c is 400 one of the numbers that is a is 40 percent less than the sum of b and c write down an equation for the information given okay so i'm giving you just two minutes to write it down and i'll show you what the answer is okay so let's get to the answer so it says that the sum of three numbers a b and c so 
uh, it's sum of three so sum is plus so a uh, plus but there are three numbers so you're going to have two pluses okay the sum of three numbers a b and c so a b and c okay the sum of three numbers is what 400 okay so uh, the sum depends on the number the number of pluses or the number of multiplications depends on the number of terms or number of numbers uh, or variables multiplying adding or dividing themselves and it says that one of the numbers which is a is 40 percent less than the sum of b and c so uh, 40 percent less okay less i told you the number that comes before the word less is the one that the less or the negative sign or minus sign affect okay so the sum of b and c so actually we have b plus c here because it is 40 percent less than the sum of b and c so it is the same thing we have here but this is 40 percent less so uh those who got it congratulations and those who tried doing it and got somewhere to congratulations the same you just need to sit up go take your time revise everything and you will enjoy it and you can actually uh, let us know more about what you think yeah very soon we've come to an end of our word problems i made a promise from the beginning how did it go please just assess how these lessons went how you understood it the speed did i go too slow did i go too fast uh, please bring your comments but believe me i know you are smiling by now and um uh, you 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 really want to do more nevertheless don't worry if you did not even get it so well go back take the video back and uh, just follow the simple examples once again stop thinking thank you for watching uh you can follow us on uh our other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, uh, and it's Migi Consult. Get back to us with your comments. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like our pages on Facebook. Make sure you also like our posts on Instagram. And uh, that gives us the energy to do more for you. Thank you very much. So watch out for our next topic, which is going to be on order of operations. And what comes into mind is board mass. Okay. But we're going to also learn about something new. I mean, let's say a revised version of board mass, which is PEMDAS, which is going to make things very easier for you. Uh, thanks for watching and still continue to be watching this. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.